Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're actually playing with uh, Let's Play it in VR, and this time we're trying a story about my uncle in VR. I'm playing a story about my uncle in VR using Vorpix. I got it to work in Vorpix by using the Unreal Engine 3 profile, so I created a new profile. I feel the sun on my face and a gentle breeze in my hair. After all these caves, just breathing fresh air again was enough to clear my mind of any doubts I might have had about this strange journey so far. So I created a new profile for a story about my uncle. Use the Unreal 3 engine profile. Uh, this is using full VR mode and 3D reconstruction with geometry. And the only changes, it, oh by the way, it is 1920 by 1080 resolution, so I did not change the resolution at all. Uh, I haven't noticed any issues with that. Uh, I tried 1600 by 900, but uh, it seemed that the textures were even poorer, so I went back to 1920 by 1080. Um, the only changes I made to the Vorpex settings is I went ahead and changed the 3D strength scale to 1.25 and the 3D FOV enhancement to 1.00. So other than that, I, I made no changes. I kept it with a 3D geometry and the textures do look a little muddy even though it's in the 1920 by 1080. I'm not sure why they look this muddy. I, I played this in non-VR and it didn't look quite this muddy to me. Uh, because of that, even though it is in 3D and even though it's full VR mode, it, the texture looks so so muddy that it, it doesn't really pop in, in 3D. So the VR is kind of muted because of that, and so I'm not sure it's 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 worth it to play it in VR for that reason. However, the gameplay is a lot more challenging in, in VR. Uh, Definitely uh, those jumps and using the this magical rope uh, is a lot more fun. Uh, the flying, uh, I know this level you can't fly yet, or at least not until later, if I remember correctly. Ah, I thought I got that. Um, so yeah, the game is more difficult. Ah, gosh, jeez. <laughs> There's definitely uh, more fun. So even though the game doesn't look great in VR, definitely because of the of the head tracking. Doing the, the Parker is, is more fun because you do get that sense that it's you more so than playing this in desktop mode. So in that way you, you get a bigger rush when playing this game so it does feel uh, more fun in that way, in that regard. Along my journey, I had seen many pieces of floating rock, but here, they were much bigger. Some were big enough to fit whole villages. How was this possible? Maybe it had to do with the crystals that seemed to be everywhere. Whoa. <laughs> uh, sometimes you do get disoriented, and I got disoriented there because I did not know what was going on. And okay, where am I supposed to go? I think you're supposed to get on those on those sails there. How do I how do I get over there? Uh, 
Okay, I think I can get to one of the cells from here. Oh no! Ooh. Okay, again, I think I can get to one of the cells from here. Okay, so where are the cells? Again, uh, like I mentioned, it's easy to get disoriented. Very easy. If the legends were true, the stray civilization was younger than the village. Yet, they were making great progress. They invented crystal-powered machines, produced their own fabrics, and built houses out of bricks and stone. It was like a civilization was forming before my eyes. Okay, so where was I? Where, again, I'm getting disoriented. I don't, I don't forget which way I'm supposed to be pointed. Okay, this way. Ah. And obviously you do need a strong VR stomach. If you don't, uh, you'll probably feel nauseous, but uh, I'm a VR vet, so it doesn't really bother me at all. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay, all right. So, uh, I think I want to get on that one. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait. Sorry, I haven't played this level in a while, so my gameplay is not as good as it. Other, plus, VR is just, it's just a lot harder, really. Oh, I thought I, come on! Oh man, really? I don't know what happened there. Okay. Okay. So let's get higher. Or do we really need to get higher? Okay, I think I got it this time. If I just let go at the right time, and I think you let go here. Ah, uh, no! Come on, no! All right. <laughs> Let's do that whole thing again. <sighs> okay. So again, disoriented because I'm in VR. I don't know which way I'm facing anymore. And ah, come on. That's probably one of the hardest things to anticipate is that those sales and when when it when you're good to to try to grab it or not.
Ooh, hoo -hoo, yeah. Oh, I thought I had it. I thought I had. I thought I had. I thought I had made it. Oh man. Okay, so I don't want to play forever. Uh, I just really wanted to show off the VR. So this will be my last attempt, come hell or high water. Uh, definitely the the gameplay is more fun in VR. That's for sure. My question is, I'm not sure that it's really. It looks better in VR. So. I think we're good now. Oh, come on. Really? <sighs> I think that's just harder to judge in VR as far as your speed. I lied. Let's try one more time. <laughs> this is this is kind of fun, I have to admit. Oh no. And I'm just used to flying. I, I think I, after having the flying and not having it now, it kind of feels weird not being, being able to fly. Or that temporary boost to help you get across long distances. So when to let go, when to let go. Am I gonna make it? No, I'm not gonna make it. Ah. Okay, it's just a matter of timing. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer, I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. This is a story about my uncle in VR. Yes, the gameplay is more fun in VR. Because I have played, I finished the game in desktop mode, and I can tell you the, the Parker is more fun in VR. The visuals don't really pop, so I'll leave it up to you whether you want to try this. Obviously, if you already own this game and you have Vorpex, you might as well try it out. But uh, I wouldn't go out and buy either one just for this experience. I'm Fast Lawyer, I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews, and this is actually the Let's Play it in VR Curated group. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.